Assalamu alaikum to all my wonderful viewers. So I am so excited to bring this wonderful uh, barbecue thick crust pizza recipe for all of you. Uh, you can see the ingredients on the screen and uh, let's get started. So make sure the milk is nothing more than 45 degrees Celsius because anything above that uh, will kill the yeast. So you just need to combine all these ingredients, give it a good stir, um, add in one teaspoon of baking powder, this is a secret ingredient for your soft thick crust and add one tablespoon of vinegar as well. This is also a very important ingredient to get that soft uh, dough. Uh, now you need to start adding your flour. This is just all purpose flour that I'm using but I made sure that I had sifted it first. Although in breads, I usually do not sift my all-purpose flour, but because we're making this soft, thick crust dough, uh, so I made sure that I had sifted my flour beforehand. These were just three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now just move your dough to your countertop or a mat and knead it for like uh, three minutes. You do not need to uh, knead this for long. Uh, because it comes out perfectly good without uh, having the need to knead it. Rub in some olive oil on top and on the sides of the bowl. Cover it nicely and leave it to rise until it doubles in size. Meanwhile, you can start preparing your toppings. I have taken 450 grams of boneless chicken. Uh, now I've added two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. I have taken a barbecue marinade. You can take any barbecue sauce that is available to you. And I've added three tablespoons of this sauce to my chicken. Uh, more, a little more than one teaspoon of uh, chili flakes. And about four to five tablespoons of lemon juice. That's all. Give it a stir, uh, leave it to marinate for a while, uh, while you start preparing your vegetables. I added a little capsicum, some onions. Now I made this delicious easy peasy pizza sauce uh, which needed 2 tablespoons of tomato paste, 2 tablespoons of ketchup, 1 teaspoon of barbecue sauce, 1 teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder and thyme. You can add oregano instead if you like. Just adding 2-3 two, two teaspoons of olive oil. You can use plain cooking oil uh, if you do not have olive oil at hand. Now here's the part where you start cooking your chicken. So I've added just a little bit of oil and to that I added my chicken. You need to cook it until the chicken changes its color and the water has separated. Now that you notice a change in color, cover your chicken and leave it to cook for some time until the chicken has softened and the water has dried. Now all you need to do is char up a piece of coal, pour in some oil on top. Now smoke your chicken for a good 20 to 30 minutes.
and our dough is ready uh, the dough has risen very well punch it down a little to remove the air make it into a dough ball I made two 10 inch pizzas so I am cutting the dough into half This dough was enough to make two 10 inch pizzas and the thickness I kept for each of them was about half an inch. So as you can see I made two pizzas, I kept a little variation, I added mushrooms on top for one of them and olives on the other, just for a little change in the appearance. Before they were ready to go into the oven, I left them on the countertop to rise for like uh, 10 more minutes and you can see the dough has further poofed up to about 1 inch in size. Make sure to follow all these baking instructions which are given to you uh, that are mentioned on the screen right now. And here you go, amazing, fail-proof, perfect pizzas already in no time. Here you can see I'm gonna enjoy my pizza triangle for breakfast the next morning and I'm actually surprised how fresh this still looks. The dough is perfect and soft. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I have some other pizza recipes for all of you. I'm gonna tag down below.